I now have a higher respect for any firefighter, anybody in the police and force, or anybody in medical aid. For risking your lives to protect everybody, including yourself, from obvious danger. The main topic here is fighter fighters, but every single one, every sing, everybody part of the 911 region is, they're all heroes, every single last one of them. Now, I just watched a movie that kind of made me understand how dangerous of a job that um, firefighting and forest fires how dangerous it can be. And upon upon viewing, I happen to um, appreciate appreciate every single thing that any of them do for us. Whether it be a small job or a big job, it doesn't matter. It could always end in a fatality. Unfortunately, like in films like Only the Brave, so that sometimes just doesn't happen that way. And it's because of these people that we're still in our homes, we're, we st we're still holding on to our children, and we're still, we're still alive. I can't, I can't put words into this because I I'm terrible at explaining stuff, uh, including this certain film, because I I've tried recording several times just, just trying to explain the the gratitude and just just the the respects I, I have for these people, I, I've had great respect for the for like from for the police and anyone in medical aid or firefighters. But this is based on a true story of what happened in 2013 in the Grant uh, Granite Mountain, I believe it was, with a um, a roughneck group of firefighters who recently who. Uh, in the movie, recently became Hot Shots, which are the top-notch, uh, the, the big boys to handle fires like that. And Eric Marsh, I'll probably never forget that name, is the, uh, the ringleader around all of it. And he, he happens to be such a, such a great leader, just, I mean, doing his job. And at the same time, realistically, with the performances, just blew me away. Josh Brolin, I've only seen him in a few things recently. I've already, I originally seen him in the Goonies when I was a little kid, but seeing him now, like from Men in Black to now, it, he's proven to work this role. He's proven to work any role that he plays in. All the actors are great. Every single last one of them. Not one that I feel like was, you know, you know, you know, overdoing it. I, I mean, if it's for, if, if it's from real life people. Sorry, you gotta act a certain way, and this was filmed, I believe, in the town where the fire happened. And there's even a cast member who uh, who was a friend of a of the certain uh, member of this of this ragtag group, and uh, he thought it'd be respectful to play his friend who lost his life in 2013, and that and that's just awesome. Eric Marsh, if you're in heaven somewhere, regardless of what happened, you did your best, you are, you, you risk your life, and every single last one of you, all 19 of you, are heroes, especially the one that survived, who started out as from a junkie, and just, and, and you know, after having a child, just, it, it changes life, and this man, Eric Marsh, has turned that around for him, and he's even told him, if you don't, if you, if you quit now, then you might, as, then you're probably going to die or be behind bars. This film is amazing. I, I, I seriously can't put words into it. There is nothing I can say that I, I just can't speak. But I, here I am doing this anyway, just for the. Just for the, you know, it's a, it's, I, I guess it's a review, but there, there's nothing, there's nothing I can really say. This film is a true tribute to the people who've lost their lives at the Granite Mountain. 
in the forest fire that ravaged. And if it was told, like in the story, in the movie, if this happened in real life, the person who should have been um, driving the plane, instead of accidentally taking out the little shit and going out, and instead of, you know, going after the big stuff, I mean, that, that, that just felt a little irresponsible. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge the, the real people, though, because if, the, I, I <clears throat> imagine you're in a plane, and you gotta take out fires, that's kind of what you do with the water and everything, and there's smoke, and sometimes, even from intercom, you can't judge where you're at, I, I don't know, I, I don't know if it's at fault, I, I don't, I don't want to think that, because if they, if they, if the people driving the plane, uh, driving the planes, operating the planes were, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure they would do the job perfectly. But I guess the only uh, bullshit factor that's kind of not a bullshit factor is the smoke coming up. And unfortunately, in my opinion, that could have saved their lives. But it was an interesting look of how they do it. They fought fire by using fire and burning up everything in this radius. See, when the fire's coming to the town, if there are those of you who don't know, I'm not I'm not really spoiling it, it's just uh, how they do things. When the fire when the when, when a fire is approaching somewhere, they go to a, a little point to where they try to take out you know, try to stop it from spreading for you know, they set things on fire so that when the fire does come along, there's nothing to catch up on fire because leaves I uh, leaves are probably one of the most uh flammable flammable things out there and it passes very easily and them taking out all the all that stuff even though it's not really a particularly good thing I guess if you're a nature uh, nature enthusiast or whatever but in order to save a whole town in order to save more trees from from uh, from burning to the ground nature and even lives like people's lives anyone's life I mean they stop they would stop it right at the um, right where it reached the radius, and then the fire would stop there, and they would have to keep going and going and going. It's just one of those films you gotta watch. I, I can't I can't say any more than that. Eric Marsh, and the guy who survived, every single last one of you, and to all the families out there, you have your, your husbands, your dads, your, your sons, and uh, your sons, everyone, who, who, whoever was part of the, um, the Granite Mountain Hotshots, they are, they're the heroes. They're, I can't, <laughs> well, shit. You all, even though one of you survived, and spiritually, I suppose, if you're listening, you all are the heroes. And you all have done a fantastic job. Thank you so much for your service. And God bless everybody who whose families were involved in this. I mean, I, I, I hope I'm a better future. Firefighters, I hope the families have better futures. All, all the firefighters who were part of this, they're heroes. And the families, the families, man. They were lucky to even to have such amazing people in their lives. I give this movie a strict ten out of ten. The the performances were great. Everyone was believable. Everybody. Um. Even though it was slow, it was well paced for you to um. If you're a movie goer, love these characters before they uh, before the real life tragedy happened and. I'm not going to spoil anything from there. So, yeah, it's a strict 10 out of 10. I almost gave it a 9.8 out of 10. But due to the due to the dangers and due, due to the bravery and such a and this is such a well tributed film, the best I've seen so far and one of the best movies. It almost it's it's probably going to end up on my top 5 favorite. It's that good. And I guess that's that. It's almost one o'clock, and I gotta go to bed. I gotta work at seven. I gotta wake up at six. So that's all I can say. Sorry for um. Sorry for you know, 
trying to speak, but I, I, I couldn't. My grammar gets really messed up, especially when I'm tired. So please forgive me. Have a very nice day. And to everybody, Eric Marsh and firefighters and everyone, thank you very much.